In this video, we'll take a look at the number of protons, neutrons, electrons, and mass number for beryllium. So as we look at the periodic table, here's beryllium. And we know that for beryllium, we have two isotopes. We'll talk more about that later. So with beryllium, I can see the atomic number. That's going to be four. And it doesn't matter what isotope I have. The atomic number for beryllium is always going to be four. That's what makes it beryllium. The atomic number, that equals the number of protons. Again, beryllium will always have four protons. If we're dealing with a neutral element, and all of the elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. So if you see Be, that's neutral. Be2+, plus, that's an ion. It's not neutral. It has a charge. So if you see Be, anything on the periodic table is neutral. The number of protons equals the number of electrons. So we have four protons, four electrons for beryllium. So we have all of this information. We're left with finding neutrons and the mass number. Often when you do these tables, you're given either the neutrons or the mass number, and you can figure the other out. If you're not, what you can do is take this average atomic mass here and round that to the nearest whole number. So let's round that to 9. If we do that, we have a mass number of 9. The number of protons, which is 4, we know that, plus the neutrons equals 9. We don't know the neutrons, just call it x. So something plus 4 gives us 9. 5 plus 4, that'll give us 9. So we have 5 neutrons for this isotope of beryllium. Because of that, we have a mass number of 9. We call this beryllium 9. So we have this isotope of beryllium with 5 neutrons and a mass number of 9. But the protons will be the same for any beryllium atom. It turns out that almost all of the atoms of beryllium, if you took a sample, a big block of beryllium, almost all of it would have a mass number of 9. So this 9, because this number is close to 9, that means the average that most of them will be 9, and that's what we see here. But some will be actually 10, so they'll have a mass number of 10. We can use that information to find the neutrons for this isotope of beryllium. Something plus 4 gives us 10. 6 plus 4 gives us the 10 for the mass number. This is beryllium 10, and this is an isotope. So when you look at isotopes, the only difference is the number of neutrons, and therefore the mass number. Sometimes you'll see beryllium written like this here. You'll have Be, and then the atomic number will be down here, 4, and the mass number, let's say 9, will be up here. This is called nuclear notation. So here's one way you could write that. You could also have Be, where you have 4, that's the atomic number, it's always 4, and then we have a mass number of 10, we could write it like this. So these are the ways you could write the isotopes to show the specific isotopes. Whereas the periodic table, that's giving you a weighted average of the isotopes, that's the average atomic mass. So mass number is going to be a whole number, then your average atomic mass will have a decimal, it'll be a weighted average. So this is Dr. B with the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons, and the mass number for beryllium. Thanks for watching.